I got in touch with Def Leppard's management and let them know what was happening here in town due to a remark that uh, Joe Elliott made in Tucson the day after the uh, Def Leppard show here in El Paso. Well, as you know, he made a remark about greasy Mexicans. We did not like that. We have a Def Leppard boycott going on. Well, we agreed uh, with the band's management that uh, Joe Elliott would call in with an apology. I talked to Joe on the phone a little over an hour ago. And here is how the conversation went. According to the Arizona Daily Star, a Tucson newspaper, you allegedly made a remark on stage while performing dur during Rock of Ages, referring to El Paso as, quote, that place with all the greasy Mexicans, end quote. Is that what you said? Um, in all honesty, I don't remember, but... Um it's very unlikely. It is possible. What what happens, you see, during the set, um, we always do this crowd participation bit. And one one thing that always gets the crowd going, usually in a positive way, is by mentioning the town that you played in the night before, by saying that they make twice as much noise, which gets you know, the audience going uh, in quite a big way. Now, if I've said that and offended anybody, then I apologize more than you can, you know, imagine I could do. The, the fact is that the only reason it was said, if indeed it was said, and I do remember this actually, is that when we played in Tucson, Arizona, the people I have eye contact with, which is maybe the first 10, 12 yards of the crowd, mm -hmm. there was a hell of a lot of... Mexican Americans in Tucson, right? And the reason I said that was just basically because they're the people that I see. So you expect that the rest of the audience that you can't see to be the same kind of, you know, mixture of people. So the only reason that I mentioned the Mex Mexican Americans in Tucson is because I could see them there, and we played in front of a lot of them in El Paso the night before. And I thought that it would wind them up more if I actually mentioned their own kind of, you know, their own race of people. Uh huh. It was it was not meant as a as a, um, a racial or, or harmful statement in any way. It was basically just a bit of a a wind up to try and get the crowd more excited than they already were. So a remark about. Why a remark about greasy Ameri uh, Mexicans instead of just Sorry? Mexican Americans? Um, I've no idea. I can't answer that. Possibly because I watch too much Cheech and Chong. <laughs> you know, like I said, it, it, it was it wasn't intended as, as a harmful thing. It was it was the same way as we get called limey tea bikes. Right. You know? uh -huh. Why limey? Why not just tea bag? It's the same thing. It, it was. It was totally unintentional. Being English, right? Being an English person, I didn't really understand that that was such an insult because I'm not a Mexican American. I do not live in El Paso, so I don't actually understand what is and what is not a good or a bad thing to say. And obviously, that night I made a big mistake. It was unintentional and supposedly just, you know, a bit of playful um, chit-chat with the audience. That was all it was supposed to be. And if I've offended anybody, then I'm, I'm very, very sorry about it. You see, there's one thing about this band is that, you know, it's very difficult now because we are getting so popular. But we did start out very much as a kid's band, whereas we would talk to them a lot. And, and do things that a lot of other bands wouldn't do. And and there's no way that now, with it getting more difficult to actually do things like in stores and talk to the kids, there's no way that we are now abusing that situation by just, you know, slagging off everybody that we ever meet. Right. Well, the way it was perceived... band policy at all. Uh -huh. you know, it, and it, it actually upsets me to think that somebody 
out there thinks that I've intentionally um, ripped into El Paso. I mean, the day we were there, it was Death Leopard Day for a start. Absolutely. And the Lord Mayor made us all honorary, honorary citizens, which is, a, you know, to us is, is something, you know, with a lot of pride involved. Mm -hmm. There's no way that we are going to abuse that. Right. On purpose. Well, that was... It's not that kind of band. That was why it was so shocking. We always do remember that, you know, like five years ago, in fact, four years ago, I was driving a van delivering nuts and bolts and garage doors and you name it, you know. Mm -hmm. That was my job. And now I'm, I'm, I'm the singer in a very successful rock and roll band. And there's no way that I'm abusing that situation. Mm -hmm. And it was... It was totally, and it was an accident. It just, you know, it was totally unintentional. And like I can say, you know, I can't say it enough. I really am sorry if I've offended anybody. Well, uh, you did. That's how El Paso took it. And we do accept your apology, and we thank you very much for calling all the way from Tokyo. No problem. Before I go, I would just like to. Um, well, actually, I'm taking this on my own hands. It's not sorted out, but we will sort this out, right? Yes. Um, yeah, I suppose it's, it's the least we can do, really. Is we're going to organize some T-shirts and some albums, right? And we will, at, our own, at my own expense, right, at my own expense, we'll fly out two listeners to see our show in Europe, in Paris or somewhere like that. Wonderful. I think, I think that's only fair. We will do through your radio station, yeah? Through KLAQ. So it's an exclusive for KLAQ. Wonderful. We do appreciate that. And again, I thank you very much for, for calling and uh, for the apology. No problem. Okay. Thank you again. All right. There you have it. The uh, Joe Elliott apology as it happened on the telephone live from Tokyo. Now, as you can see, as you heard, the guy seems to be very sincere and uh, is, is, is quite apologetic. And uh, according to him, he really didn't mean it as a racial slur. So what we're going to do is leave it up to you, El Paso. This weekend, we are going to do what we said we would do. We are going to boycott Def Leppard. You will not hear Def Leppard on the radio. We think that is only fair because it happened, you heard it, and on Monday we're going to give you all the chance to vote. Uh, we want to know if you want us to start playing Def Leppard or not. And I think it's up to the El Paso audience to decide that. So Monday, keep that in mind, on Monday we'll let you know how you can let us know what you think about Def Leppard. Most people, you and I included, make statements that we wish we hadn't have made. Absolutely. Absolutely. And a He'd slip of the tongue is one thing. A slip of thought is another. And El Paso will make up their minds Monday. That's right. So uh, Monday, we want to be hearing from you. And on Monday, we'll let you know how it's going to be done. And keep in mind what uh, he said about that European trip. It's coming out of his pocket. Out of Joe Elliott's pocket. Joe Elliott is going to send two El Paso listeners to a European concert. We will get the details on that. We are going to again talk with the band and their management on Monday and figure out just exactly when they're going to play in Europe and, and how we're going to do it. And we should appreciate the accessibility that the band and their management exhibited during the uh, controversy. Absolutely, and the reason why they called so late uh, was because it was morning in Tokyo. Let's wake Joe up. Let, we, I'll <laughs> tell you, everybody, we woke Joe up. Hey, Joe, boy, remember Texas? <laughs> you, Joe is never going to forget El Paso. In Believe his whole life. me. Mm-mm.